I'm out here at the greenhouse and we are looking at the corn. If you look up top, I've got full tassels and that is dropping pollen. Dropping pollen like crazy. But what's not happening is there's no ears forming on the stalks. Well, they've sort of begun in a couple areas, but there's certainly no silks to pollinate. And corn will only drop, here's the beginning of some silks, but there's not, and there's a couple over there too, but the majority does not have silks. So yeah, the corn. <laughs> it does not look good, does it? It's, it looks like it's long past harvest, and it's just trying to die down. A lot of this had to do, I'm quite certain, with the mite damage. But um, I share everything here, so I'm going to take a few of the corn cobs off, open them up, and I'm going to show you this, what I'm almost sure is a failure. And this is it, everybody. This is every bit of the corn that was in the greenhouse. And this is the end result. As you can see here are cobs with incomplete pollination. Now they're a little dry because I let them go too long because I knew that they weren't filled in and I had other stuff to do. But you can see here I got from no pollination to very, very low pollination to a little bit more pollination. And uh, basically complete failure. Now I'm going to bring you in close so you can see. And uh, so that's a little bit of a disappointment. Long time growing. What I'm attempting to do is collect some pollen because that will only drop for 7 to 14 days. 7 to 10 days. Something like that depending on which site you read. And, uh, and I want to make sure that I get good corn pollination this time. So I'm going to collect it and try to keep it in the refrigerator. Most of the sites I've read where corn pollen doesn't stay viable for very long, less than an hour. But I did read one that said that you can collect it and put it in the refrigerator and keep it in the crisper. They, well, they didn't say refrigerator, they said 4 degrees Celsius, but to negative 4 degrees Celsius. You keep it between those two temperatures and it will remain viable longer. Uh, for I think they said up to 14 days but anyway I don't know if it's true or not but we're gonna give it a try okay I took a piece of cardboard and I tipped the tassels over onto here and you can see the corn pollen and one of these broke and that's gonna be fine because I'm gonna try something else where I keep these in the refrigerator as well and uh, that was somebody said you could take, or somewhere I read said you could take these and wrap them like you would a cut flower, put them in the refrigerator and you can uh, pull them out a few days later and uh, shake it. Uh, but we will see. So I took this and I tilted it into the strainer and I'm going to shake this out and get the pollen and obviously some of the other little things now put it in a pill bottle with a desiccant bag and I put a shade bit a little bit of cornstarch in there as well because one side I read said that if you cut it with corn uh, cornstarch or flour it'll help uh, spread it further and potentially keep it drier. I don't know. That particular site had nothing to do with corn pollen. It had to do with weed pollen. <laughs> it's amazing how a lot of cutting edge gardening is done by people growing pot. <laughs> Marijuana. But anyway, I thought I'd give it a try too. And we'll do this every day and keep it in the crisper until the majority of soaks have come out.
Okay, my corn's all tasseled out and it is dropping pollen. And I do have some silks up here, but traditionally there's no wind up here, so I used to shake. Um, and I found out I'm not shaking at the right times necessarily. It should be earlier in the morning before 10 o'clock. But anyway, I'm going to see if I can improve the pollination of the corn silks. So what I had done is I trimmed off a lot of the silks and those will be the ones that I'm going to pollinate from the save pollen I put in the refrigerator. And uh, we'll do a comparison. Now I'll come out and I'll shake in the morning and I'll pollinate with that pollen in a, a paintbrush or a, you know an artistic paintbrush and see if we can get some good uh, good pollen transfer and hopefully full corn cobs full of nice juicy sweet corn. Okay, I'm out here at the corn. I'm going to take this little brush and I'll dabble it and get some pollen. We're going to go up here and we're going to brush it all over these silks. And since I trimmed them, these are very sticky. I'm going to take the pollen down to the individual corn kernels. Each silk represents a corn kernel. So I'm not going to do all of them for you, but uh, I want to show you what I'm doing with at least this one. I have not given up. This was a definite pollination issue. The corn tasseled too much, then it had to struggle with mites, and then uh, very, very little pollination left when the ears finally did silk up. So we're going to give it another go later on, guys. This is Brent. We'll see you later.